Okay, the confirmants, please come forward. Beloved in the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his apostles, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the very end of the age. You have been baptized and catechized in the Christian faith according to our Lord's bidding. Jesus said, Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But if whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Lift up your hearts, therefore, to the God of all grace, and joyfully give answers to what I am now to ask you in the name of our Lord. Do you this day in the presence of God in this congregation acknowledge the gifts that God gave you in your baptism? Yes, I do. Do you renounce the devil? Do you renounce his works? Yes, I renounce them. Do you renounce his ways? Yes, I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Yes, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Do you believe that the Bible is the word inspired word of God? Do you confess the doctrines of the Evangelical Lutheran Church drawn from the scriptures as you have learned to know it from the small catechism, but to be faithful and true? I do. Do you intend to hear the word of God and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully? I do, by the grace of God. Do you intend to live according to the word of God and in faith, word, and deed to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even to death? I do, by the grace of God. Do you, do you intend to continually uh, to be continuing your steadfast confession and the, in the church and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it? We rejoice and we give thankful we rejoice with thankful hearts that you have been baptized and have received the teachings of our Lord. You have confessed the faith and have been absolved of your sins as you continue to hear the Lord's word and to receive his blessed sacrament. He who has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion in the day of our Lord. Just move. No. You take two steps this way. One more. You take two steps this way. And you come forward. <laughs> Jeremiah Crane. The Almighty God of our, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you new birth in water and spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, strengthen, with, strengthen you with his grace and his life everlasting. Amen. What is your verse? I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. We had to give him a Jeremiah text. He's <laughs> back. <laughs> Joshua Crane. The Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you new birth and water and a spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, strengthen you with grace and everlasting life. Amen. What is your verse? Have I not commanded you? Be. Be. 
for faithful and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. How to give him a Joshua verse. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Zoe? Zoe Wright. The Almighty God of our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you a new birth in water and of the Spirit, has forgiven you all your sins and has strengthened you with his grace and life everlasting. Amen. What is your verse? I am a shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23. Christopher. Christopher Carr. The Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you a new birth in water and the Spirit, has forgiven you all your sins and strengthened you with his grace and life everlasting. Amen. What is your verse? For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God to everyone who believes. Salvation to everyone who believes. Wonderful. Good. There you go. I would like to shake your hand. <laughs> there you go. Rowan? Rowan Strusenberg. The Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you a new birth in water and spirit, has forgiven you all your sins and strengthened you with his spirit and life everlasting. Amen. Rowan, what is your verse? Here you go, Rowan. Thank you very much. There you go. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the great goodness in bringing these, your young sons and daughters, to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and enable them, both in heart and to believe with their mouth, to confess his saving name. Grant that, which grant that, bring forth the fruit of faith they may continue steadfast and victoriously to the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. You can sit down.